Good Monday afternoon. Uh, welcome to Get Real with Rick Dancer. And people are always asking, what is something I can do for families who uh, just need a little extra? And today we're going to give you a really exciting way to help. Um, it's school time. Uh, school supplies, um, I don't have children in school anymore, but they're expensive. And for families who are just having a tough time paying the bills, working and paying the bills, um, it's really hard to find the extra money to make sure their kids have what they need to go to school. So St. Vincent de Paul is one of our great clients, and they do a school drive every year, and that's where we are today. They couldn't do it without Bymart, Fred Meyer, and Oregon Community Credit Union. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. Also, I guess I want to mention, if you tag two people on the comment section here, uh, you will be eligible to win a $25 gift card to Bangers and Brews. Um, uh, Darren over there, they care about this kind of stuff as well, and he loves to give stuff away, especially when we do shows like this. So joining us now, Ashley. Hi. So Ashley's with St. Vincent de Paul. So tell us about this program. Um, so this is our Backpacks for Back to School drive that we do every summer. Um, Oregon Community Credit Union is our big partner, and they help make this really, really effective. And basically... Through the month of August, late July, we collect school supplies and money to buy more supplies so we can give out about 3,000 backpacks Jeez. stuffed with supplies um, right Seriously? before school starts to kids in the community who could use that help. Why is that so important? Because it's school supplies and I'm sure there's some people going, well, maybe they don't need all that stuff. You, you really have to... The, the schools don't give much anymore. They can't. No. Yeah. And it's it's hard if you're that kid who starts out the year that when doesn't have all the things they need to be successful. Um, you're just kind of starting out having to work uphill. Um, and that's not what we want. We want like back to school to be a really exciting time where everyone's rejuvenated and wants to learn and be really engaged. And if you don't have the tools to do that, it can really set you at a disadvantage. And we want them to, kids to feel equal. Yes. It's hard enough when you are your family's having some issues with, with you know, like a lot of us do. For and, sure. And then you get in there and you're the one, the outcast. And we want them to go in with the with the cool backpack and, totally. the, and the right pencils and yes. whatever they need anymore. Yes, definitely. Probably pencils is like my day and age. They probably don't even do no, those. No, they're still pencils they still on pencils? the list. Oh, I'm yeah. so glad. Number yeah. two pencils are still there. Indeed. So the idea is, you guys, when you go out shopping for your kids or if you don't have kids um, and you're just going out and you're in Bymart or Fred Meyer, just go down the aisle and pick out, find out what they need need and they have lists here don't they totally most um most of your major department stores like by and fred meyer have lists from the different districts for different grades and honestly even the the staple things that we all think about um all kids still need so, so then and all you do is you buy them and then you don't have to take them anywhere nope when you walk out the door there's a blue box right blue barrel blue yep. barrel and you just stick it in the barrel and it, it, they'll hand them out um this goes till august 31st yep august 31st our school supply distribution is probably going to be on the 28th but that's the big distribution that happens out of our Lindholm Center um, but after that there's always kind of a trickle of kids that realize they need things so we, we do the drive for them. Jay we love this program too so share it on your page so other people see and can do this and um, is there anything else we need to tell them about this? Um, just, just just help us this is really what makes it possible is all of the community support um, and the donations that you can donate at any of those places by Mark Fred Meyer, St. Vinny's and Oregon Community, but um, donations of stuff. But you can also just donate money if that's easier for you at any St. Vinny's store or Oregon Community Credit Union branch. And then um, towards the end of it, we take that money and we're able to, to bulk purchase a bunch of supplies to make the distribution possible so really whatever is easier for you all right you guys so you got to see this this is so cute i'm so i think it's cute so we got the family here we're going to talk to them in just a second but they're really looking over their supplies and i want you to meet brooke from oregon community hi brooke hi so how why are you guys involved well it's really important to us to support youth and education as well as financial literacy and um just basic needs and this event really takes care of all three of those things um, by providing kids with supplies that they wouldn't otherwise have and also the other funds help with some of those other services making sure kids have food um, clothing and shelter so um, you know it really covers all the bases so when you guys say you're a community credit union you are about community absolutely um, you know 
We used to say community is our middle name, and that's still true. We just call ourselves OCCU, so. So is it kind of fun for you to get out of the office and see this is the, where the rubber hits the road? Absolutely. Um, you know, I worked really hard all year to bring the community together. Um, you know, it's an opportunity for our members to give back, and not just our members, but other community members as well. So, so you have the people can donate at your, at your offices too? Yes, so we have barrels located at all of our branches, and you can donate supplies or funds as well. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, thank you. No, you're awesome. All right, you guys, here we go. Here's the family. Hello. So let me get you near your wife so real quick here. You guys are busy. I mean, you're, you're yeah. checking out the list here. Uh, yeah. That early. So introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Lee, uh, Lee Stagenborg. Yeah. Kristen Stagenborg. So you guys are involved in the uh, affordable housing program for Vince, St. Vincent de Paul. Tell me how that's changed your life. Well, it's uh, um, just given us a lot better place to live, uh, a lot more, uh, and a lot more affordable place to live. Uh, it's nicer for our kids. Because um, you were living nine hundred, you were paying. Kind of tell people what you were paying and what you are. I was paying uh, like nine hundred for a, a two-bedroom um, place in not a very good area. Uh, the kids didn't have any. Um, place to really play there it was a parking lot yeah it was a parking lot and then other than that there was uh, a street and it was just a, not a very good area and because as we know uh, housing is kind of expensive in this area kind of <laughs> yeah because you're working yeah yeah we're, I work full-time uh, sometimes overtime and you know it's it was hard to get by um, uh, month to month um, but now that uh, we have the uh, affordable housing through st. Vinny's um, I have more money to spend on the kids, and they each get their own room. Um, it's only uh, it's only six hundred dollars a month for a uh, three bedroom uh, through this program from St. Vinny's. Yes, wow. yeah, it's a you know three bedroom townhouse, uh, um, two stories, uh, two bathrooms. It's uh, you know pretty much what what my family needs, and you know if it wasn't for them, an apartment like that would be twelve twelve hundred thirteen hundred dollars at least. And you can't afford that. I can't can't afford that. <laughs> so. I want to turn this around for a second. So, talk to me about dignity. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, go ahead. Um, having a place where you can have your family. Oh yeah, makes that's... you feel like you're doing what you want to do for your yeah. family. Yeah, I need to do you know what I I need to be able to take care of my family. It's. Uh, do people not understand because you are working full time? Yeah, uh, so sometimes it's hard working full time and you know still not being able to make ends meet. Kind of, kind of sucks, but you know do what do what we have to. So, what's mm. your dream? What do you dream? Of? What What do you hope? Well, I w eventually would love to like have a house and stuff, but that's uh, re not really in the cards right now. <laughs> but you're working on it. Yeah, I'm working on it. But this, uh, you know, this program at least gives me a uh, a nice place to live. Um, man for my kids <laughs> all right where's your wife here uh, she's they're still shopping hold on I wanna, hold on I'm gonna find him where did she go okay we're gonna find her we're gonna find mom she's shopping with the kids hi how are you oh there she is I'm like oh come here I know you're busy shopping so again introduce yourself Kristen Stagenborg. So you're an at-home mom, mm -hmm. and how has this helped having this nicer place and this program through St. Vinny's? And mm, oh, our family's a lot happier now, less stressed, and can do more fun things like camping. So because you have that extra three hundred dollars a month, you're able to do some things that you could not do before. Yes. Yeah. Why <laughs> is the school supply program so important for your kids and for you as a mom? Um. Because now we have more money to go camping or buy school clothes. We don't have to spend all our money on, you know, school supplies. Because it gets expensive, doesn't it? Does. It does. It does. So what do you, what's your dream? What do you dream about? What do you want for your life? Uh, my kids to be happy and make memories. And you can do that on a budget. Mm-hmm. But it's nice to have a house where they have a play, place to play. Oh, yeah. And do stuff. The kids love it. So I think it's kind of cool that your number one goal in life is that your kids are happy. Mm -hmm. That shows you're good at your job. Yep. 
If they're take, happy, I'm happy. So you take being a mom really seriously. Yes. What do you think people in our community might not understand about people um, such as yourself um, who are just having a tough, tough time making ends meet when you're working hard and everybody's doing what they got to do? Um, I don't know. They just don't understand when they have it easier, I guess. But you have it good because you have your kids with you. Yes. And that's a choice you make. Yep. And you like that. Mm-hmm. I do too. I think that's awesome. <laughs> so St. Vinny's just kind of really helps you guys a lot, huh? Yes. A lot, a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, keep up your good work and all what right. you're doing, okay? <laughs> do you kids want to talk to me at all? Do you? <laughs> no? Okay, you don't have to. Do you want to? Come here. You can do it, Lily. Really. Lily, come here. Come here, Lily. I'm going to squat down here because you're so pretty. So... Is it, is it tough when you don't have school supplies and everybody else does? Yes. Why? You need to have, you want to have the same things everybody else has to take to school, right? Yeah. And it's stuff you need, right? Yeah. So this kind of provides that for you when you might not have otherwise been able to have that. And now you have money for some cool school clothes. That's important, Lily, right? Yeah. Oh, come on, Lily. That's really important, huh? <laughs> you are so cute. Thank you. That's pretty good, I think, you know. Hey, thanks for taking the time and and uh, just sharing your guys' life with us a little bit. Oh, yeah. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. All right. <laughs> See you later, guys. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Don't, I'm gonna, I'll be back. I'm going to talk to you real quick. Um, okay, guys. So, again, St. Vincent de Paul. And uh, now through the 31st of August, you can come down, buy school supplies, and... Uh, help these families out and again if you tag two people on this show you will be eligible to win a $25 gift card um, to bangers and brews and in fact you know what I'm gonna do just because I'm gonna think that this is gonna be okay I'm gonna take a chance but um, Darren I don't know if you're watching out there but let's just give the family um, a $25 gift card uh, to bangers and brews. Um, I'll pay for it, or we'll, you and I'll work it out. But I think we should send them to dinner on us, because uh, we can. Uh, so we're going to do that. Um, yeah, there. I make an executive decision, and that's what we're going to do. <laughs> that is what we're going to do. So um, let me go. I'm going to go talk here real fast. I'm just going to get in your way for a second. I'm so sorry. And then I'll get out of here. So I kind of made an executive decision. Yes. So I have a client, Bangers and Brews. Mm -hmm. They do really cool sausage and mashed potatoes and stuff like that. They're over by uh, Sheldon High School. Uh -huh. And they give us a $25 gift card to give to people who tag two people in the page and stuff. Okay. But I would like to give one to you oh. and your family. Cool. Well, so thank you. I'm going to get your address when we're done or a way to get a hold of you. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just give your name. I'll get your name. I'll give it to Darren. And we're just going to give you. You can go in there and you have $25 to spend on your family. And they have alligator bangers, they yeah, have yeah. reindeer bangers, they <laughs> have elk bangers. So okay. it's a really cool place. And uh, that'll just be from uh, Bangers and Brews and Rick Dancer, okay? We'll just oh. give that to you. Okay. Okay? Cool. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. I'll get your information in just a minute. All right. All right, there we go. All right, you guys, so uh, that's it. Share this on your page. Let other people know uh, that you can uh, be a part of this program and do this. And, uh, and remember, when you're out getting your school supplies, just get a little bit extra. Uh, find a list at the store and just buy extra because there's families like that that could really use your help. And that's part of being a community. Community and love and all those are action words. So that means you have to do something. Uh, you can't just feel bad. Um, we have to do something. Um, and look how much that frees them up to do other stuff. Sweetest family ever. And there's a t We want to make sure we're taking care of our own, right? All right. I'm Rick Dancer. Thanks for joining me. Tomorrow we're at Somebody keeps trying to call me. Tomorrow we're at the Pearl Day Spa. Um, Sean will be giving away a $75 gift card. And then on Wednesday, we're at the Hales Men's Clinic, where we'll be giving away a $50 gift card to the Pearl Day Spa and talking about testosterone. We do a little bit of everything. If you didn't catch our show this morning, uh, I went walking through the Coburg Road Car Wash. So you got to go check that out. <laughs> it was fun. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye-bye.